Hi friends, now we are going to cover the goals of this tutorial. After taking this course, you should understand how to answer the following six questions. Okay, uh, how can I hide button fields tabs in a standard SAP screen? This is very important because SAP screens always comes with with a flavor that may be used for across everything across all the industry but based on your industry requirement based on the business requirement you might have to hide rename the name and all those things for the fields okay so we will show how you can do that how i can build custom bot button that launches another transaction code it can be a simple transaction code where if i click suppose i'm in purchase order and i want to see all the invoices related to that purchase related to that vendor i can just click on one button and i can go to the fbl one end to get all those information how can i add button that will launch another application in sap screen it, this is very important where I, there are cases where we are getting lots of things where you have to have a fiori app you have things like you are working with another satellite solution like ariba concur field glass this is only SAP solution. You might be having workday for your HR or you will having success factor. You want to incorporate into in your in your screen, in your home screen, so that you can just click on it rather than going through your uh, company web portal and clicking. So all the things that we are solving, it's less clicks. Less clicks means less uh, less problems, less issues. Okay. Um, how can I use the script button in SAP standard transaction code? This is something that is new, which can be used. But again, I want to tell you, you cannot replace a BAP with a SAP script. Okay, this is just a feature which you should not be used, which should not be used to remove a BAP code. Okay, that's not going to happen. Okay, how can I build my first SAP dashboard with SAP first? Uh, screen personas so if you see we have already we will go through that and we'll build a wonderful dashboard and you can you can be based going through this tutorial after going through this tutorial you will be just thinking you will be just planning what what are the transaction codes the ap team or the supply chain team or the accounts receivable team uses it can be custom it can be standard and for them you just create a dashboard very easy Okay, we'll show that portion and then I will show how I can display export import transport flavors. So flavors is important because the flavors are the new things that are the new output of a screen. So you have a standard VA03 to display sales order. It has a lot of buttons and all those things. Now the flavor will be the variation of that uh, screen with all the magic you have done by hiding, renaming and all those things. So that will be called flavors and how we can export and import and how we can transport those. Those we are going to discuss. That covers the goal of this course.